Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead senior broker of Team Rennick, part of that great, great Mangrove Realty Associates family. Welcome to another edition of Out and About with Mike. My guest today is Mr. Stephen hey. Reed. Hello Stephen, thank you for being here. Sarasota Lift Station number 87. What's that all about? Well Mike, this is a very exciting place to be. Um, if you're a resident or a citizen of Sarasota and you've driven on US 41 Mound Street and in, you're in front of Sarasota Ford or the little McDonald's on the corner, you've seen this under construction for more than a decade. I bought down here in 2008 and I've watched them and wondered what this was for years. It's not, it, you would think it's like a city training ground, but this is probably the biggest fiasco in the city of Sarasota's history financially. That's a big statement. Let's talk more about that. Okay. What all right, all right. Before I do any editorializing, we'll just do the numbers. It, in 2008, the city decided after getting a lot of complaints about its wastewater, its effluent in the, in the city, there's a big residential area behind here that stretches all the way to the hospital along Orange and along Cold, Osprey. Cold west of the trail. West, yeah, basically, it, it, it's nice real estate, an older part of town, and they were having wastewater issues, pumping the wastewater, the, the, that, that's everything, it's sewer water, it's every bit of water on your property that has to go down a pipe. It was leaked into the bay, a couple million gallons went in the bay in 2004. It got the city talking about it. They decided they're gonna build a lift station and pull all that water and pump it efficiently away. They got bids and engineers, and it was supposed to be, here's the number, $8.5 million. What year was this? In 2008. 2008, $8.5 million. We just are finishing the final touches are going on. It didn't take two years as planned. It's costing $67 million so for this building. this is 2021. Yeah. And the 8.5 is up to 67 Seven million. million. Yeah. What happened? Everything that it makes the colony on Longboat look like just a, the easiest real estate transaction ever. <laughs> First, the engineers they hired said, we're gonna bore, we're gonna do tunneling, on, which is what they do to run pipes underneath Hudson Bayou. Then they decided we can't do it. We can't tunnel that far, we can't do it. The city said, you're the experts, they sued them. The city ended up losing, spent over 10 million in legal fees oh. that it lost. So that's part of the 67. That's million. part of it. Cost wow. overruns, redesigns, a more expensive building. They say that the the construction environment has changed. We're not in a recession. All these factors. But here's the beauty. Here's the thing. Here's the editorial opinion. Here's the sad thing about government. When things go wrong. No one's there anymore. All five commissioners yeah. that were on in the beginning are gone. Yeah. The city manager is gone. They're all gone. So really, now the new people can say, let's find out what the heck happened, finish it up. But basically, this is the most expensive brick building in the city of is, Sarasota. Is it working now? Is it up It's and working. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's pumping. It's, so uh, does it do, do any purification or is it just pumping? Not purification. It's just no, a lift station. No processing of the, the, the waste. It's just moving the water and it's, the waste along. It's just moving. But moving waste along is a big deal. Oh, yeah. It gets it out of the area and then it goes to the big processing facility. It doesn't process anything. Low line area sea level rising it gets the water out yep. of here that's what it was for is, is the current administration going back and, and looking what went wrong so this doesn't happen again they did a little soul searching report the new commission came in hagen brody came in and said we need to know what happened so this doesn't happen again we owe our citizens and so after a few thousand <laughs> dollars investigating it they just discovered it was all the things i said the lawsuits cost overrun it was just a bad exercise bad advice and this is just the truth i'm not trying to be editorializing some of the commissioners back then thought they were engineering experts okay. and they got all involved and thought they could figure it out better and it it's a story that goes for 12 years and over what is that 50 million dollars in cost overruns, overruns yeah which is a lot so so in my promise that I made a few years ago of telling the sights and sounds of Florida's West Coast, it's the good with the bad. This is a beautiful area. I personally love being a part of this thing, but here's a story of something that maybe didn't go as well as it should. 
So I watched this facility being built for years, didn't know what it was until um, the last couple of years. So I wanted to share this with you. Steve's got a great background. Steve, I want to thank you for being here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more episodes of Out and About with Mike. Take care. Have a good week. Thanks, guys. Take care.